Welcome to Role Players TV. We all have a role to play in life and in this world. We role play as fathers, mothers, sons, daughters, husbands, wives, aunts, uncles, friends, and mentors. Here at Role Players, we'll attempt to explore inspiring stories and challenges of rebuilding a nation, a lost nation from the ground up. I'm your host, Will Ransby. And in each episode, we'll dive deep into the narratives of resilience, innovation, and determination that hopefully shapes the restructuring of a lost nation. We plan to bring the voices of leaders, activists, everyday heroes who are working tirelessly to bring positive change within the so-called black communities. Together, we'll unpack the intricate web and challenges they face the strategies they employ, and the impact that they have they're making on their fellow citizens. So join us as we journey through untold stories of individuals and communities exploring complexities of rebuilding not only physical infrastructure, but also social fabric and national identity. Our aim is to shed light on the transformative power of collective action highlighting the triumphs and, and adversities and lessons learned along the way. You know, whether it's overcoming political persecution or economic disparities, the process of rebuilding is a testament to the indomitable will of so-called black people. So grab your headphones, grab your TVs, and join us on this exploration of perseverance and the unwavering belief that positive change is possible. We have a question today for anybody who is willing to answer it. How do so-called black people overcome the world of so-called white people? Now, this is an idea of overcoming a world of any racial group. It should be and will be approached with sensitivity and caution. Because it can perpetuate divisive thinking and misunderstandings and contribute to misunderstandings. And I, I don't want that to be a part of this journey, this movement, this show. It's important that we here at Role Players TV promote equality, inclusivity, because regardless of racial or ethnic background, we have to collaborate amongst ourselves and with other nations. So rather than focusing on overcoming a world of white people, we should focus on overcoming our bitterness towards white people. Because whatever happened to us was destined to happen. This rulership was given to white people and is theirs right now. That doesn't mean that we cannot rebuild our nation and be rulers again. All it takes is collectively, collective thinking, a oneness of mind, body, and spirit. One love, one mind, and one action. It's going to require collectively coming together and pooling our resources and rebuilding. So we have to start promoting equality and not just uh, seeking equality with white people in their world. We need to promote equality within, within our own communities to start, provide education, raise awareness of who we really are. What was actually lost before cattle driven slavery? We have to engage in this dialogue. 
But we have to turn that dialogue into action. We're, we're talking. We're talking a lot. Social media, news, uh, black people talking about what white people have done. White people do not care. Many white people do not care about what happened to your ancestors during slavery. All we need to do is come together collectively in oneness and rebuild. And I'm telling you, there's 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 one group of people who are doing that right now. And I'm a part of that. I'm a, I'm a digital citizen of Garvey Nation, GarveyNation.com and by black movement.com. Go to those websites. Products manufactured services provided specifically black people. Go to buyblackmovement.com. GarveyNation.com. It's a movement that's amazing. And it's on the ground floor. So you want to be a part of it, jump in. Because that digital community of Garvey Nation may truly migrate into a true city. Land, nation. With, with electricity, water. And that's that's a dream. And it's a dream that can be fulfilled. But it's going to require some support from representatives that are outside of that are different nationalities. It's going to require a diverse group of people to assist in this effort. And I believe I, I believe this. I truly believe this can happen. But we first have to renew the spirit of our minds and understand and be conscious that we are biased. We are unnecessarily biased towards white people and racist white people. It's a waste of time. We have to promote allyship and join with the people who are willing to help rebuild a nation that was lost before cattle driven slavery. And no disrespect to any group of white people who have ancestors who participated in cattle driven slavery. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. But I'm hoping that the people who understand the the challenges and disparities of a group of people who lost everything. Can be compassionate and join in this journey. Of rebuilding a lost nation. So we got to we got to build bridges and not divides. That's what we need to do to rebuild our nation. Get rid of all the biases. Get rid of the anger towards white people. Stop. Just stop. So. To conclude. The solution for me. That I feel is the best solution. Is to rebuild families. Rebuild black families. In households. And every single household needs to have babies. Boss babies, babies of superior status, build them up, teach them, educate them, train them of who they really are. And bring them back to royal priesthood. An effort that I truly believe can happen. It's going to take time, though. It's going to take time to rebuild these families in this way. But we got to have the babies. We got to rebuild families. We got to teach the babies. And it's going to take it's going to take about 10, 15, maybe 20 years to rebuild. But it can be done. I'm hoping I see it. Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll live to see it. So I'm wishing you guys many, many, many blessings. Please sub subscribe and comment and like. I'm hoping to see you. Maybe even see you on the show. Much love and peace.